talking about a quite a little, a, an interesting little guy. He's, when I say little, he only gets to a max size of 17 centimeters. So, really small little guy. Um, a species probably not a lot of guys have caught unless they fished in the estuaries with small little hooks for catching live bait. Um, but if you've ever thrown a cast net in an estuary or say net in an estuary, which is illegal unless you're doing research, you probably would have come across this guy. That is the black hand sole. Now, he's Solia uh, Beakery. Solia meaning bottom. Uh, Beakery named after a famous ichthyologist, uh, Beaker. So, Bleaker. They uh, a very cute little species. We small little guy. Obviously, depend the size wise going to be sold is very very flat and dorsal ventrally. So he sits flat on the bottom like that. It actually looks like your hand. And his little pectoral fin that sits on the side like that is black. That's where he gets his name, black hand sole. So he's got this little black fin that sits on the side, and uh, that's on his flat body like that. Interesting thing about the soles. A lot of guys probably might have heard of it, might not. He's got. He starts off his life with his eyes on either side like this and as he grows he'll tilt sideways and the one eye will migrate from underneath up to the top of the head so then he has both eyes sitting on the one side of his head like that so that's how he sits flat on the bottom but can still monitor everything that's above him so he'll sit that way around with his eyes on top he's sort of a flat flat shape overly sort of in size i mean in shape and you're going to find him from literally centimeters of water all the way down to about 60 meters depth but your main area that you're going to get him in is is an estuary. That's that's he's a very important part of the estuary ecology. So that's really where where you're going to find him actively. Now, in terms of locality along the African coast, from False Bay all the way up to the Zambezi Delta. So our entire east coast, all the way around, all the way up to the top. Um, is where you're going to find them and they, they're very very prominent in the estuary so if you have thrown the guys in up further north in Africa do net them quite a lot and it's not a big fish so you're not getting a lot of meat from it but obviously it's better than than sitting at home hungry so they, they do they do cook them a lot and that kind of thing um, but yeah in in South Africa at least it's not not a very popular fish in terms of, of keeping but it is a very interesting species and very very uh, important in the the whole food web that you get in a, in an estuary. So they are, in terms of eating wise, uh, what they what they're going to be eating, anything that they can fit in their mouth. They are voracious little little predators. They they're sitting flat most of the time and they ambush very similar to our to our flatheads and things like that. Uh, like we mentioned, only get to about 17 centimeters. They spawn at the mouth of the estuaries and in winter and then that will push um, with the rains will push all the, the eggs out into the sea they get moved into the oceanic current and then they'll get pushed all around along the coast and eventually the fry will then settle back into estuaries where they're going to live for most of the time so that's when they're going to grow up so from little babies then they'll grow up into your your giant 17 centimeter sole so yeah little black hand sole very very interesting little species one of the the many sole type species the soles the tongue fish that we get along our coast and uh, yeah a very very interesting species but one that's not often caught so yeah black hand sole very cool very unique and very uh, important in the estuaries cheers